All right, today I'm making a cryopod or stasis chamber, suspended animation receptacle, whatever you want to call it. For this build, I used wood. That's it. No, it's not. I mean, you know, wood glue, wood screws, wood tools. That, that is the tools meant for cutting wood, not tools made of wood. Be kind of crazy to make a saw for cutting wood out of wood. Standard materials and safety gear. These are a staple of science fiction. They can be seen in such films and TV shows as Star Wars, Star Trek, Stargate, Farscape, Planet of the Apes. Back when spaceships had a smoking section. That's great. Charlton Heston. What kind of example are you setting? Damn you, Charlton Heston. Damn you to hell. <laughs> he's there. You know he's there. What else we got? Alien. Aliens. You know what? This list is going to go on for way too long. I always run into the issue where I have more footage than voiceover dialogue explaining what I'm doing because it's so explanatory so let's put a pin in this and oh hey archer yeah so i'll come back to that during the build so clearly this is something that i'm gonna need to have and honestly i need more set pieces in my portfolio you know so let's let's just get to it I'm making this one out of wood because it has to be sturdy i'm also making it in an oval shape like a sort of squashed cylinder because i hate myself if you're making up your own science fiction franchise you can make the cryopod look like whatever you want it to look like it can be square it can be just a door set into the wall this is the second hardest shape that I could have done outside some kind of crazy MC Escher type thing. It would have been easier to just do a circle because, you know, there are plenty of circles that you can trace from. As a production design guy, when I'm watching a show and I see a square set or square set piece, I immediately think, oh, okay, square sets. Somebody burned all the budget on catering. That, that's not fair. You really can't skimp out on catering. But really, a big reason why you see a lot of square sets as opposed to round ones is curves take more time. They cost more money. And really, these can look however you want. They just have to match match the world of the story that you created. I suppose the easiest way to do this would be to just make a, a door larger than a door frame in your shooting location. You know, so it covers the door frame. So you just got a wall and a sci-fi door and then hang some black curtains or black flags to black out the space behind the door and just have your actor stand in the doorway. And it has the added benefit of them being safe from earthquakes if you're in California. Mm, look at those suspenders. I'm gonna wear good looking clothes in my shop. Lost so many pairs of pants to contact. I've lost too many pairs of pants. They died in my arms. All right, Levi's, we're gonna stitch you back up. I'll totally wear you out in public again. Do you have any next to kin? But like I said, I need an actual 360 prop, so I had to build the chamber itself for my purposes. So carpentry is much more labor intensive than foam smithing, which is what I normally do. So if you're working with a more durable material like wood, remember to stay hydrated. Ah, immortality. What? a cup of a carpenter. Oh, wait, that clearly says architect. Oh, fun fact, I refer to this as a prop and not a set piece because if an actor interacts with the object on set, then it's a prop and therefore falls under the props department. So on a movie set, the chairs that the actors sit in in between takes are considered props and fall under props department. Well, I think it's a fun fact. I was props on a show called, well, the, the TV show version of Taken for like the pilot. And most of my job was just packing up and setting up chairs. Also guarding fake guns. I want to take a moment to thank my patrons, these people. Is that, no, come on. Ne I can never get it. These people, without whom these videos would not be possible. Specifically, I want to thank Graham for his one-time donation of $100, which, wow, that's incredible. I'll actually be able to finish one of the many long-standing products that have been sitting unfinished for some of them over a year because they just ran out of funding. I'm thinking Ripley's Space Helmet, BB-8, or the Commando Droid, or any of the countless others that I dare not show you because I don't need people going, when is that video coming out? For a year when I get more funding. That's when that video is coming out. Which one do you think I should make? Let me know in comments below. Please don't pick the Commando Droid. Right, reverse psychology. Please don't pick the Ripley Space Helmet. Make the worst spy on the planet. Once the frame was built, I covered it in rainbow, rainbow? In ram board, which is like thin cardboard. This is pretty self-explanatory, so back to the list. Riddick, Event Horizon, Another Life, that's a new one. Starbucks Show, Firefly, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, what, threw an anime in there. Supernova, Pandorum, The Shining. Okay, so it's an open air cryo chamber. It's, it's a cryo resort. It's a thorough indoor cryo chamber. <laughs> Forbidden Planet, Going Retro on you. Lost in Space, The Matrix, 2001, 2010, Dark Star. This is like the epitome of special effects and then bottom of the barrel. Avatar. Interstellar. Demolition Man. 
This is Sylvester Stallone. Uh, I'm going to watch that again. River World. Those, those are cryopods, right? Captain America 2. Electric Boogaloo. Resident Evil. I have to blur that out because of Mila Jovovich. The Fifth Element. Damn it, Mila. You played Joan of Arc. Batman. Sort of? Jason X. Does anybody remember Jason X? It sucked on so many levels. You're about to die and you make a pun. <laughs> I love it. Hey, did I leave anything out? Let me know in the comments below. While building the door, I noticed that the wood I was using was particle board. Should have caught that earlier, but it was in a pile of scrap and it had this lamination on it that was very similar to this really thick MDF that I was using. So that just, that's just what I assumed it was until I cut into it. So this means it's not gonna survive transportation. I'll have to build a new door for actual narrative structured film projects that I use this in, but it'll last long enough for this YouTube video, which is essentially a proof of concept. So I'm just gonna power through. So this is probably the last time anyone's ever gonna see this door. We hardly knew ye. So I covered that with RAM board as well and gave it a base coat of gray. For the window frame, I'm making the frame out of EVA foam because it's lightweight and easy to work with and the glass is just a sheet of plastic. I'm painting this a very neutral, unweathered gray just because it's a good base coat. If I have to repaint it in the future, which I'm sure I will, it's easier for me to go from this genre to say a steampunk genre, which involves a lot of rust, than for me to start out with all that weathering and then go back. So I wanted a really heavy looking door handle for this, but like I said, the door is made out of the worst wood possible so anything heavy such as this one which was conveniently in a thrift store which is actual iron is gonna break the whole door so i felt this is a perfect opportunity to try out this cylindrical eva phone from tnt cosplay supply thanks debbie it does say debbie right i can't read squiggly i heat formed that and cemented it together then i cut more foam pieces for the structure and added a radio dial to represent that bolt i drilled a hole in the door and placed it in there oh also i painted it somewhere in there because the end is pointy i cut it off and and glued a piece of foam over the splintery bit in order to protect the actor. I aligned it with the door frame, and there you go, basic cryopod. However, a lot of what makes a good cryo chamber is lighting and cinematography and smoke, f-stop, aperture, other film words, and good actors. So let's go to in-cam Jake for the test footage. I'll throw an apple box in that, well, let's start with this, because I do like that shot, and I'll, awesome, awesome. <laughs> so pretend to be asleep. They say most of your brain sits down in cryosleep. All but the primitive side, the animal side. No wonder I'm still awake. Hey Wendy, show me what you're just doing right there. Just got taller. <laughs> How long was that take? Like five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> right now, this is sort of clinical, kind of Nostromo sort of lighting. I mean, obviously it would need to be white instead of uh, gray, but we take just a regular dollar store light and put a gel and tape it in there, and all of a sudden it becomes blue horror lighting. Like you're the vampire about to be awakened from the crypt. What is a cryopod anyway? Oh, it's another term for a stasis chamber in which a person can be placed in a state of suspended animation, which is to say that their metabolic rate slows down to the point of zero or near zero. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out these videos. Also, if you want to support me so that I can keep doing this, then you can check out the Patreon link in the description down below. Like and subscribe and share all that stuff. Bye.